happy Wednesday. We are going to start looking at negative numbers in math. So the first thing I want you to do is get your pencils and your rulers out, write your date and your LO and underline them both. Go. Pause me now. Amazing. So what is a negative number? A negative number is a number with a value less than zero, as you can see on this line here. So you've got all your positive numbers on this side of the line after zero, and you've got all your negative numbers on this side of the line before zero. Where might we have encountered negative numbers before? You might have seen it on the temperature, so if something is minus four degrees, we know it's very, very cold. Below sea level, things are minus this, minus that, or in a bank account when you have low money. You've got minus £20,000. So we are going to represent numbers on a number line. I'm going to do it first, so watch me. So my zero is here. Do I have any positive numbers in this line? I do, one. So I know that one go straight after zero, so I can cross that off my list. Then let me look at my next lowest number, minus two, so zero. This one would be minus one, so minus two would have to be here. So I can cross that one off my list. Then I've got minus three, which goes straight after minus two. Cross that one off, and minus four. Cross that one off my list. Now I've got minus eight, so minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight. So I can cross that one off my list. Amazing. Now it's your turn. Pause me, draw this number line, and add the numbers that are on the number line. I'm going to give you five minutes to do this. So pause me, draw your line, and add these numbers on. Go. So, as you can see here, I've added the numbers onto the number line. You've got zero, one, space, and three, your positive numbers, and then after zero, you've got a space, minus two, couple of spaces, and minus six, and then a couple more spaces and minus 10. So that's how your numbers go. Now I want you to pause me again. What you are going to do once you've paused me is you are going to draw a number line with no labelled intervals. So there is no label on where the numbers go. Where could the numbers be positioned? I'm going to give you one possible answer once you've had a go yourself. So pause me and have a go yourself. Amazing, let's check out my answer. So, as long as you have zero and then four on the positive side and the other numbers on the negative side, you're doing okay. However, I've got to add minus seven. That's where minus seven will go. So as long as your number line looks like this and there's spaces between all of the numbers, the correct number of spaces, so there's four spaces between one, minus one and five, and two spaces between minus five and minus seven, you've done a good job. Cor correct. Give yourself a tick, and if not, pause me and quickly make a correction. Now what you are going to do is pause me and answer these questions. Obviously, because you don't have a sheet in front of you, you are going to have to write out the question and draw the number lines. This will take you about 15 minutes. If it takes you less time, that's okay, you can unpause me beforehand, but why not set yourself a timer and see how quickly you can get it done. If it takes you about 17 minutes, that's also okay. Pause me now, and then we will go through the answers. Amazing. Grab your green pens now and we'll go through the answers. So, as you can see here, I have filled out the answers for you. What I recommend is to pause me so that you can check them out. 
If you've made any mistakes, correct them in your green pen. And if not, I will see you tomorrow for some more math.